Ah, yes, the drama with star running back Dalvin Cook continues to drag on, and there, you're starting to see slight passive-aggressive social media uh, uh, shots across the bow. You are starting to see that. So Dalvin, of course, on the gram a couple weeks ago, covering up the Vikings logo with a smiley face. Uh, picture him at the Pro Bowl. Four straight Pro Bowls, four straight 1,000-yard seasons for number four. Uh, but he is going to be 28 years old, and the Vikings looking to save some salary cap, plus they're racked and stacked at the running back position. So I don't know. But also the Vikings, they got into a two, uh, featuring Alexander Madison uh, heading to year five, uh, recently re-signed on a two-year deal uh, instead of Dalvin on their old Twitter header, as well as uh, on the schedule release uh, that, that they posted uh, for phone wallpaper. So the Vikings getting in on the crypticness too. And then also recently Dalvin Cook uh, posted this on the gram. Uh, your value doesn't decrease based on someone's inability to see your worth. Just some work. Hmm. So again, this is something that you would see in like uh, some suburban mom's kitchen, like uh, next to Live, Laugh, Love, where it's like, yes, your value doesn't decrease based on someone's inability to see your worth. But also, the market is the market is the market because, I, I mean, if teams were lining up to pay Dalvin $10.4 million bucks, I mean, that would be his worth, right? Well, that would be his monetary worth in terms of his profession. Obviously, not self-worth, obviously not uh, self-confidence, obviously not all that stuff. But I know the fact that the the fact that we're here because of age, because of salary cap, because of his contract – it just sort of is what it is. And if a team was uh, completely willing to pay him 10.4, I mean, Dalvin would be traded by now. As uh, as it stands now, it seems to me that the Vikings have moved on, and it seems like Dalvin's resigned to that as well. I think that they're just waiting for June 1st uh, if they do cut him. Uh, now, they could cut him right now and just have him be a post-June 1st designation and free up all, all that cap space. But I think they're holding out hope that maybe Miami or maybe a team comes in with a late-round draft pick so they're not giving away Dalvin for nothing. So... I don't know, but I think that I get this point. It's over. I think that it's pretty clear that uh, the bridges can't be mended. And like we said, the Vikings are pretty racked and stacked up at, at the running back position. They do have Madison. Uh, they do have Ty Chandler year two, King Kenne, uh, Dwayne McBride, the seventh rounder as well. So uh, again, Kwesi did a good job of hedging his bets on what's going to happen with Dalvin, but yeah, I, I think it's over. I, I think it's uh, pretty clearly over that the Vikings and Dalvin are heading towards a divorce. We're just dragging our ass along because uh, it's a couple weeks until June 1st. And like I said, they could cut him now and just have him be a post-June 1st designation. But I, I think Quasey's holding out just like, hey, Dolphins, hey, Chris Greer, just give us a six. And we'll go from there, man. But your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, Vikings, for now, running back Dalvin Cook uh, being super cryptic again on the gram. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.